Hello and welcome. My name is Dawson Church. I'm the author of the book, The Genie in Your Genes, and I have found a remarkable new healing technique called EFT, or Emotional Freedom Techniques, which I'd like to share with you on the coming program. I have done a great deal of research into EFT in the past 10 years, and along with colleagues from many universities, we've had over 20 studies published in peer-reviewed psychology and medical journals. These show that EFT is phenomenally effective for physical problems like pain, skin rashes, fibromyalgia, and also for mental health problems like anxiety, depression, phobias, and traumatic stress. People have applied EFT to a wide range of issues, from financial abundance, to weight loss, to business performance, to sports abilities, and found breakthroughs when they do that. I have presented EFT in a number of large health chains like Kaiser Permanente, Sutter Health, and the Veterans Administration. I've also been asked to testify before U.S. Congressional Committees twice on the effect of EFT on traumatic stress. I run a large network through EFT Universe of trainers who offer trainings in clinical EFT, a research-based, evidence-based method that has been shown to be effective in many research studies. Now, here's what we're going to do in this video, which is a lot of fun and you will get remarkable results from. We're going to do EFT on a central problem or block in your life. We'll use a method I call the magic time machine. And there's a lot of laughter in EFT, there's a lot of fun in EFT, because you find that even blocks, even problems which have baffled you and had you stuck in the past, rapidly crumble with EFT. And you might find me laughing and kind of taking these things lightly, but you'll take them lightly too once you discover the power of EFT to help you blast through those blocks and reach a whole new level of personal performance and satisfaction. As we begin now, please turn off your cell phone, mute your landline, turn off instant messenger, make sure that this is your sacred time to heal. Give yourself the respect to really create a healing sanctuary space for yourself to go through this very deep, very powerful process. Also grab a pen and paper so you can make some notes because we found with EFT, if we have people make some notes and record their progress, they're astounded by how much progress they can make in just a very brief session like the one we're about to do now. To start with, I'd like you to think about a major block in your life, some place you really aren't able to make progress despite all the personal growth tools you've used, all the courses you've taken, all the online products you've bought, all those ways you've tried to make yourself go ahead, but something is just not working for you. Think about an area that you're really blocked in and write down that down. Now we find that there are five major areas that people tend to have blockages in. Those areas are relationships, money, work and career, physical health, and spirituality. So think which of those five areas is the most blocked for you and just write down in one or two words what that area of blockage is. Now, thinking about that area of blockage, I'd like to do a little exercise I call the magic time machine. And what I'll have you do is, as you tune into this area of blockage in your life, feel where it is in your body. Because our emotions are physically grounded. We don't just think things. We aren't just heads supported by these things hanging down called bodies. We are integral beings. Our, our feelings, our thoughts, our spiritual lives all interact powerfully to either let us move ahead or, if we're blocked, stop us from moving ahead. So feel where in your body that blockage resides. Now, I want you to think about a event in your life that really typifies that blockage. Think about the first time in your life you ever felt that same physical sensation in your life. Imagine this physical sensation as like a ray of energy. And this ray of energy is like a magic time machine that carries you back and back and back and back and back in your life to the very first time you ever felt that same physical sensation. This could be a sensation in your gut, in your heart, in your shoulders, your head. Somewhere in your body, you will feel that. And also, somewhere in your body, you will have had the first recorded memory of that physical sensation. Now, 
write down the place in your body you feel it, the event when you first felt it, and also give that event an intensity number on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is no intensity and 10 is the maximum possible intensity. Here's an example. One woman felt really blocked around money. Whatever she did, however many courses she took, however much advice she got, somehow she could not make progress. We did some tapping with her, did some EFT with her, and it turned out that it was linked to a really early event in her life when she felt as though if she was powerless, other people had to take care of her. And being powerless was her ticket to other people coming up with the money to make things possible for her. So she had to work on that feeling in her own life of being disempowered as a child. Now, when she tapped on that and worked on that childhood issue, guess what happened? The number of clients she had immediately doubled. Magic how that happens. The adult events are dramatically affected by our childhood issues. So I wanted to travel back in time to the first time you felt in your body and give it a number. Is it a zero? Is it a 10? Is it an eight? Or somewhere in between. Now write down on the piece of paper your number, your event, and your body location. The reason we have you write this down is simple. You will heal so fast that you won't believe it. <laughs> we all have people, they'll say, well, that wasn't a really big problem for me after the session. You know, the session was great and the event really you know, didn't have that much impact on me. Then we'll show them the paper, they wrote their number down. And you were a 10, buddy, when we began that, that session, now you're a zero. And they'll say, wow, I guess I really did have a big healing journey during the course of the EFT program. So we want to make sure you record where you are right now, where it is in your body, and how big the impact of the event was for you. So write those things down. You've got the name of your event, you've got your physical location, and you've got your number written down right now. One other piece of advice about choosing your memory, choose a memory that is as early as possible and choose one that is a brief event. For example, if you got bullied at school repeatedly, say at the age of six, don't pick getting bullied all the way from six to seven. Pick one event of bullying that stands out. So it needs to be an event, it needs to be brief. It may have only taken 10 seconds for that event to occur, but that really had a big emotional impact on you. So pick the event, not the whole sequence of events. Also, if you have several events, use your magic time machine to travel back to the earliest one. So perhaps you were bullied at the age of 15, at the age of 11, and the age of 6. So keep traveling back on your time machine, this physical sensation, to the earliest possible event you can find. So, you ready for some tapping? Let's go for it. Now, as we tap, just follow me, tap along with the same points. But when I say the words, the problem, I want you to name your own problem. So, for example, if it's bullying by Jim, then you're going to say bullying by Jim when I say the problem. Also, please speak these words out loud if you possibly can. So, tap or I tap, just lightly seven to ten times at each point, and say the words along with me. But when I get to the point where I say the problem, substitute your own personal problem rather than my generic words, the problem. We'll start by tapping on this part of the hand called the karate chop point in EFT. Tap there with the fingers of the other hand and say, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, name your problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. One more time. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now take two fingers of either hand, tap on either side of your body, and start with the point where your eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose. Tap there lightly a few times and say the name of your problem. 
side of your eye, this problem, this problem, and your pupil, this problem, this problem, and your nose, this problem, this problem, middle of your chin, this problem, this problem. End of your collarbone where it meets your breastbone. This problem, this problem. And finally, under your arm, about four inches below the armpit, tap there lightly and say, this problem, name your problem. Take a deep breath. Tune back into your body and see what your new number is. Now, if it was an 8 or a 9, it may not have gone down to a 1 or a 0, but it may be down to a 6. Now, going from a 9 to a 6, that is a one-third reduction in your emotional triggering. That is a real help. But let's see if you can't take it down further, okay? Tap with me again and say, even though I have this problem, name your problem, and I feel bad about this problem. Name your problem. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I don't know that this problem, name your problem, could possibly ever go away, I still deeply accept myself. Whether it goes away, or whether it doesn't. Even though I'm suffering from this problem, and it may never go away, I still deeply, fully, completely accept myself. Okay, breath, then tap where your eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose. This problem, say out loud, the name of your problem, side of the eye, this problem, under the eye, this problem, under your nose, this problem, under your lip, this problem, collarbone point, this problem. And your arm. This problem. Now tap here again and focus intently on your problem. Think about any sights, sounds, smells, any sensory input you had relative to the problem. When the event was happening, what were you feeling, thinking, believing, hearing, all those parts of the event? So focus on all those parts of the problem and say, even though all these different parts of the problem were emotionally traumatic for me, I still deeply and completely accept myself. All these parts of the problem were traumatic. And I still deeply and completely accept myself. Parts of the problem. Think about each part of the problem. Say it out loud. Name a different part of the problem. Say it out loud. Another part of the problem. Another piece of the event. Different piece of the event. Say it out loud. The whole event, say the name of the event out loud. A part of the problem, this part of the problem, say it out loud. And your arm, either side, this problem. Okay, take another deep breath. Now's the time to test your results. With EFT, 
we don't just go forward with the routine regardless of whether we're getting results or not. We want you to get results and we want to test to make sure those results work and that they hold over time. So I'd like you now to look at your piece of paper and write down your new number of how it feels in your body right now. So if your area was, say, in your heart, you felt that issue, then tune back into your heart, get your new number where zeros, no emotional triggering, tens, the maximum possible emotional triggering, and find a new number. Then write down your new number around the event. Now the chances are you've gone down to a way low number, maybe a zero, one, or a two. And if you're a low number, uh, one or a two still, you can tap again later on, or maybe tomorrow you'll be a zero when you think about that. It's funny, I used to sometimes, when I was first learning EFT, in my office, we, we tap when we have any problems here, and um, occasionally I leave the room and go into a different room, private office, and tap there. But I'd start tapping on some problem that was so bothering me. By the time I got to about here, I was thinking, why am I here? Why am I in this private office? What was bothering me? I just forget all about it. It was. It happened. It worked so fast. So you'll find that even if it doesn't work for you immediately, often the next day, you'll find all the traces of that issue are gone. To support your healing journey, I'm also going to give you absolutely free a copy of my EFT mini manual, which will give you the full instructions for how to do EFT yourself, and has a section on page 55 called EFT on one page. It's that simple. It really is simple, but it is phenomenally powerful. Me and my team of trainers have now applied EFT to thousands of people in thousands of different situations and got remarkable results. We've also used EFT in humanitarian situations. We've offered EFT to over 3,000 veterans with PTSD and their spouses and seen big reductions in their PTSD symptoms. We've even done EFT in terribly terribly traumatized places, like with Rwandans who were orphaned by the 1994 genocide there. Also recently we had a team in Haiti after the earthquake tapping with Haitians with PTSD. We found that they had remarkable results. They all normalized and their PTSD came down to normal levels after tapping. So how can you capture the full power of EFT for yourself? I no longer offer personal consultations. When I did, people paid me up to $5,000 for a consultation like this. But I'm giving you the chance to learn EFT from me in person for a tiny fraction of that cost. That is by taking a clinical EFT workshop, a live, hands-on training that will teach you step-by-step -step how to get the most from EFT. Why do you need a live workshop rather than learning EFT from a book or an online course? We found that those kinds of methods of instruction really don't work for EFT because EFT is so visceral and hands-on. You need a live, personal workshop to fully learn EFT. Also, there are 48 clinical EFT methods, and we want to make sure you have a full range of tools because we get many people in our workshops who say, wow, I tried EFT, I learned it online, this and tapping, it worked for me a bit. And then it stopped. My progress stalled. Why? Because they'd learned a few of the techniques, but not all 48 clinical EFT techniques. The basic tapping routine is six of those techniques. There are 42 others. And to really get the most from EFT for personal performance, for weight loss, for financial abundance, you need to know the whole package. I'm also going to give you a special discount for acting today. I don't want you to drag around your emotional baggage a minute longer than you have to. Like, ask yourself, do you want to drag around this heavy weight of all these disappointments, angers, resentments, all the stuff that's hurting my body, driving my stress hormones sky high, shortening my life? Drag this around with me for another five years or ten years, thinking about, well, maybe I will take an EFT class one day. Just press the button and do it now. We're making this available to you at an incredibly and ridiculously low cost and you will shed a huge amount of the stuff in that bag and walk away lighter with much more ability to achieve your goals. So all the stories in your head about why you should delay, just flush them down and hit the button and enroll for that workshop. To close, I'm going to show you a brief two-minute video of people leaving one of my level two workshops and all the things that EFT has helped them with and you'll hear in their own words how happy they are to have been there and done this for themselves. 
Hi, EFT works for reducing stress, self authentic self connection, and just enhancing aliveness. EFT works great for sports performance issues. EFT inspired and supported me through breast cancer. EFT works great for removing phobias and it also helped me to understand a terrible water phobia I had. Now I love water. EFT works for reducing the knots in your stomach around life changing decisions from this big to this big. EFT works for releasing fear in any way. I have experienced myself and with a lot of clients and it's just perfect. I have found EFT to be helpful with my clients with dealing with procrastination and also with removing artist block. EFT is great to lose weight. EFT is great to, to learn some foreign languages like French. So, je peux parler français maintenant. Je peux parler français maintenant. Je parle de mieux en mieux le français maintenant. EFT works for big things like attachment disorders, but it can also work for little things like just know it helps me with my impression of lack of time and maybe yours too. EFT works great for erasing bothersome dreams. EFT works for all kinds of anxiety and stress. EFT has helped me and others reconnect to divine source within themselves. Hi, as a therapist I have been looking for the uh, silver bullet all my life and uh, I have found it with EFT. EFT is a fantastic way to release your past, things that have held you back and embrace a positive future. Here's to your health and well-being. Go ahead and click that link and enroll today.